Welcome back to Living 808. National Cheese Lovers Day falls on January 20th. That's this Sunday. So we thought it'd be a great idea to bring in Amy Pottinger from Caviar and Crayons to show us something cheesy in this The Art of Cooking segment. Thank you, you for want, being here. Appreciate of it. Of course. Thanks for having me. If um, you want something cheesy, I'm your gal, literally and figuratively. <laughs> so, boom, boom. Uh, boom, <laughs> cheese. Uh, so, ah. uh, okay, so what, what, are we, what are you helping us with today? Because uh, National Cheese Lovers Day is just a few days away. It's not every day? It, well, I guess it could be. Yeah. I guess it could be, but officially it's January 20th. Okay, so today we're just going to talk about a charcuterie board. We're going to make a few things. Charcuterie? Charcuterie. Charcuterie, charcuterie, charcuterie. It's pronounced charcuterie. I Googled it, so if Google is the infinite wisdom. I'll go then, with charcuterie. Okay. <laughs> okay, which means what? Uh, it basically just means cured or salted meats in French. Um, oh. And it's traditionally served with things like fruits and cheeses. And we have all sorts of stuff that we're going to talk about. And it's a great appetizer because there's no cooking. This is cool because it's like a fancy, it's a fancy poo poo and, and it's great and fumble. <laughs> and it's great for, speaking of fumble, it's great for the big game on Sunday, right? The there's a ton of stuff game. we could be doing. Yes, and there's so little prep time. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Full, ser full service establishment here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, there's pretty much no prep time. You just have to run to the store, grab stuff, and make it look as pretty as you can. Okay, so tell me what, uh, what goes into our shark. Charcuterie board. Right. So um, we have various meats over here. We have some prosciutto. We have some peppered hard salami. Which I took a bite of during the break, and it is peppered. It is. It is quite peppered, yeah. actually. <laughs> Which is why I brought my my little drink over here. My, uh, my oh, don't okay. don't cover it up. We can't see what's in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, exactly. <laughs> um, um, but yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So. Yeah. I also like to have a variety of different cheeses, um, hard cheeses, soft cheeses, cheeses that are seasoned. This one has some truffle in it. This has some fruit in it. I noticed that I noticed that on one side you have some bread. So mm -hmm. yes, you could. There's a tons of tons of stuff you could do with bread. Absolutely. Um, olive oil. Yeah, you want to make a dipping sauce? Yeah. Here we go, sir. Did, did I get this right? This was olive. Yeah, oil. that is olive okay, oil. Perfect. Extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so we're just gonna just pour oh, a little like bit restaurants in. Restaurants do, yep, right? Yeah, it's so easy. Okay. So olive oil. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Balsamic vinegar. Which uh, is the dark guy yep. right there. Yep. This is great. Okay, a little bit of balsamic. Doot, 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 doot. Maybe a little bit more. Oh. I would. I like things that are really acidic, though. Okay. And then, really easy, you just add a little bit of cracked, cracked pepper, pepper, a little bit of salt. And then you're doing that with like the bread. Right? right, you can dip the bread in that, and that's pretty much a great way to do also, that. I would also do something, if I had, like, chopsticks, I would also do something like that. Oh, we're going to do that to the tomatoes also, oh actually. Oh, my gosh, see? <laughs> I was, so I wasn't, I wasn't. You weren't wrong. So I'm going to crumble this because it's a little bit messier. This okay. is smoked goat cheese. Okay. And we're going to do olive oil and vinegar again. Again, okay. really simple. We're just talking about fresh, right simple ingredients. Yep. Crumbled goat cheese, olive oil, vinegar, salt, pepper. I mean, it's that simple. And so just... Sometimes, you know, you want cheese, like, just in its purest form, cheese. I like a grilled cheese as much as the next person, but, okay. I mean, this is just legit cheese. Um, of course, uh, you didn't just think of this just off the cuff, right? You have uh, caviar and crayons. Tell yep. us, let everybody know about that. Yep, so I have a food blog, Caviar and Crayons, and you can find inspiration such as this or other actual recipes. And we have this right here. This is one of my favorite. It's actually a local product. It's a Hawaiian fruit paste. Uh, you can find it at Whole Foods. Okay. Again, featured, we have some honey, Manoa honey right here that we can put on some of our fruits. I it's a like delicious this. fresh honey. Yeah, so you're combining like all of the different flavor palettes. Mm -hmm. Sweet, salty, spicy. We have some dried apricots, dried frigs, right, well, or gonna, otherwise known as figs. <laughs> I can't, I can't like just, you know. Oh, no, you here. can't. I gotta just go ahead and dig into this because this is amazing. Yeah. Or you can be or like me and repel vampires just eating straight up garlic. <laughs> National <laughs> Cheese Lovers Day! And it's on uh, January 20th. That's Jan this Sunday. I'll see you there. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Charcuterie board. <laughs> Check out Caviar and Crayons because Amy Pottinger's got a bunch of stuff on there that would be great for January 20th, right? Is there other, are there some other cheese things oh, on there? Oh, yeah. All sorts of dips. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Are we fighting for the cheese? <laughs> what the hell is Do I need to, like, intervene? Uh, seriously. <laughs> That's, I'll give you some, Carlson. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> Caviar and crayons. Yes. Uh, you've got a ton of stuff on there. It's Lots always, of recipes. always great to have you on the Thank art of you. cooking. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Amy. It looks like art. This is great. Can, can you leave some stuff for the crew? I brought to-go boxes. Awesome. <laughs> All right, after the break, we're going to wrap things up, tell you what we have in store for you tomorrow. Perfect.